Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we're going to learn how to write a C program to check whether the entered number is a prime number or not. Let's take for example, we entered the number seven, number 15. So 15 is divisible by many numbers. So 15 is divisible by 1, 15 is divisible by 3, 15 is divisible by 5, and also it's divisible by 15. So if a number is divisible by more than 100 itself or other than 100 itself then it's not a prime number. A prime number is something which is divisible only by 100 itself. Let's take for example number 11. 11 is divisible by only 1 and 11. It's not divisible by any other number so it's a prime. Let's take for example number 7. 7 is divisible by only 1 and 7 so it's a prime number. Now to write the logic for this, we need to understand, let's take an example of number 9. So how we write the logic is, so we write a for loop from 1 to the number itself. We write a for loop from 1 to number itself and with every number we will check if it divides the given number. So 1, 9, so 1 divides 9, 2 doesn't divide, 3 divides 9, 4, no. 5, no, 6, no, 7, no, 8, no, 9, yes. So here you can see that 9 is divisible by 3 numbers, 1, 3 and 9. So if the number is divisible by more than 2 numbers, that is 1 and itself, then it's not a prime. So 9 is not a prime because it has 3 divisors, right? Now let's check with another number and that's 7. Now let's check it. So now we will start from 1 to 7, we'll start from 1 to 7 and 1 it is divisible, 2 no, 3 no, 4 not divisible, 5 no, 6 no and 7 it is divisible. So if the number is divisible by only two divisors then it's a prime number. So 7 is a prime number and 9 is not a prime number. So this is the logic that we are going to use for writing the program. If the number is divisible by only two numbers then it's a prime. So let's get started and I'm going to create file new project and I'm going to create Win32 console application and give the name as prime number and click on next and uh, I don't need this click on finish. Now if you are writing the program you can use any editor of your choice so I'm using so let me quickly show that so now let's go to the next slide so you can use editor of your choice either you can use Turbo C editor or Dev C++ or Visual Studio Community Edition which I'm using so you can use any, ed any editor of your choice to write the program which I'm going to explain now let's get started the first thing is header files include stdio.h and include coniwo.h and also I used to write here author it's my name Meghnad and then I need to write the purpose so the purpose of this program is to read a number to read a number and check if it is prime or not now program execution starts at white main method and we are going to write here as always I used to write here variable declaration and read data from user and then we will write the logic and last we will print the output right now let's say this the first thing is variable declaration so we need to read the value from the user so int input and we need to loop from one to itself and we need to check how many divisors it's having if it's only having two divisors then it's a prime number so count so we are going to write count is equal to one and what else we need count equals zero initialized to zero and that's it now let's say this so read the data from the user so printf I'm going to write enter any number and we need to use scanf to check if it's scanf percent d for integer and I'm going to write ampersand ampersand input and then I'm going to write the logic so the logic is for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to input 
i plus plus i'm checking from 1 to itself and if input is divisible by i if input is divisible by i i'm going to write count plus plus so i'm increasing the count and this loop will continue from 1 to the number itself and the logic we discussed is if and and we need to print the output now by checking if the count value is 2 then it's a prime number right so if count is equal to 2 I'm going to write here printf person D is prime number person D is prime number and in place of person D I need to print the input value and else that means if the count value is more than 2 printf I'm going to write person D is not a prime number in case of person D I want to print input so now this is the logic and last we will be adding get ch now let's run this program and let's see if it works so I'm going to execute this and now you can see here I'm going to enter any number let's take I'm entering number 9 9 is not a prime number so 9 has 3 devices so we checked it so the count value in that case will be 3 and so it's not a prime number so let me execute this and now let's test uh, it for number number 7 so 7 will have count value 2 so it's a prime number right so this is the program that we can write to print or to check whether the enter number is prime or not now there is one flaw in this code because if you entered number 1000 it will check for the loop will execute from 1 to 1000 and it will check for every number to check if it's a prime or not which we don't have to write so what we can do in this case is I'm going to do a little bit modification for this code and let's try to understand what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write let me open MS Paint and let me try to explain this for you to modify this code so first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize the count value to count is equal to let's put 0 so I'm going to put count equal to two, 0 and I will take number 9 I'll take number 9 and what I'm going to do is I will start from 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 I will start dividing from 2 to 8 and what I'll do is if the number 9 is divisible by any number between 2 and 8 I will stop there that indicates that it's a it's not a prime number so 2 it's not divisible 3 it is divisible so once I notice that the number 9 is divisible by 3 I don't have to check once again because because it is divisible by other than 1 and itself that is 3 so I can conf I can infer that it's not a prime number so I'm going to use that logic so once if I find any number other than other than 1 and itself divides the number I'll stop there using a break statement and then I will check the logic and let's try I will write the logic and then I'll explain you so this loop is not the always best because this loop will execute if I enter 1000 or if I enter number 10,000 this loop will execute 10,000 times and and then it will check whether so I'm going to modify this logic so now let's modify this as I said I'm going to check from I is equal to 2 I less than input I less than input I plus plus if it is divisible by 0 if it is divisible by the number I'm going to write here break now what I'll do is here I'm going to write something really different logic here so now if I'm going to write here if I value is equal to input if I value equal to input then it's a prime number else it's not a prime so why I'm writing here if I equal to input is let's take for example number number 7 so in case of 7 this logic will help loop through from 2 to this logic will loop from 2 to 6 right so 2 3 4 5 6 so 2 it's not divisible 7 is not divisible by 2 7 is not divisible by 3 not 4 not 5 and not 6 when i value becomes 7 so 7 less than 6 condition i mean when i value becomes so this input is 7 
when i value becomes 7 7 less than 7 condition fails and it comes outside so when this i value will be equal to input is only when no number it is divisible so that time i value will be equal to input and that's a prime number in case if it divides let's take for example i will take an example of number 9 so in case of number 9 i'm starting with 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 in this case what happens is first i'll start with 2 it's not divisible and 3 it is divisible and when i value 3 it will break so it will not be equal to input it will go to else and it will print it's not a prime number right so let's see what happens if we enter 10000 so i'm going to enter number 10000 and let's see what happens how many times this loop will execute so i'll start with 2 and 10000 modulo 2 is 0 the break that's it so only one time this checks and break and here i value is 2 and input value is 10,000 so it goes to else and it prints 10,000 is not a prime so the previous logic would execute 10,000 times this current logic will only execute for one time right hope you understand this and this is one better code than the previous logic we can still optimize it by checking for only half of the input but that's fine so this is a little optimized code when compared to the previous code right okay so now so I will be adding all the programs into a document in case if you need the document you can click on the description section of my YouTube channel and fill your details to get the latest ebook let's take for example if you see here I have my YouTube channel you can click on this uh, you can when you when you're watching this video and I have added one link here so you can see here when you click on the show more of this um, YouTube channel you can see a link here so when you right click on this click on this you will see a link for filling your details you can fill your name email and phone number and submit it I will be mailing ebook for you within five working days thanks for watching hope you're clear with this program thank you and do remember to subscribe for more videos and also do share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.